Hi there, this is your favorite Nani Deep Math channel and I have an infinite product for problem for you. So let's see how we can do it. Well, in general, uh, if we have an infinite product, it would be nice if we have a recursive, like, simplifying. For example, if we had, uh, like, k over k plus 1. And imagine I have product. So I would have, like, if I put, for example, k is from 1 to n, I would have like, oh, I have 1 over 2, 2 over 3, 3 over 4. And as you see, like, all of these stuff are canceling out. And I will only be left with 1 over n plus 1. And here, so if I have something like this, it would be cool. But here, do I have something like this? Well, obviously, denominator and denominator have difference of 2s. But it's it doesn't mean that at the next two terms, it's going to be same. Here, if I just write this thing, it's not as easy as this one. Uh, here, if this one, even if this was k plus 2, I would have something uh, quite close to that. But here, uh, it's not any close, okay? So if you write like terms, for example, I'm starting at 2 because one case is just 0. Uh, so I would end like with, so if I put n is equal to 2, 7 over 9. Uh, next is 26 over 28. And even if I just keep going, the, n nothing will just cancel nicely, okay? At least we can see it uh, doing it like this. Yeah, here maybe this force will cancel out, but it's a bit chaotic. And numbers are getting big really easily. So my goal is to like simplify this thing a bit and try to find the recursive relationship between n cube minus 1 and n cube plus 1. Okay, so let's see how we can do it. Uh, if I start with denominator, n cube plus 1, so this is like n cube plus 1 cube, I can just write it as n plus 1, n squared plus n plus 1. Well, this is a basic cube uh, formula. And what about n cube minus 1? So this is going to be by similar way, it's just going to be n minus 1 and n squared, uh, so this is going to be pluses, uh, sorry, this should have been a minus, and so this one is just going to be plus plus, it's going to be n plus 1. So basically, I'm trying to find the recursive relationship between this and this. Uh, so instead of n, Let's put n plus 1, or I could put a, instead of n, n minus 1 here, and let's see what happens. So I will just keep this one same, n minus 1. So I'm actually not going to change it, but I will see if this was n plus 1, how would stuff cancel out and what kind of relationship I have. So if I, instead of n, I'm going to put n plus 1. But I'm gonna I'm just re rewriting the same thing. So this is n squared plus 2n. So I need a minus n. And so I have plus 1. But I already have plus 1 here. So I don't need to write it. But here, as, like I said, I'm trying to find the recursive relationship. And if I look here, I have n squared and n plus 1 squared. Minus n. I also have minus n. But let's make it minus n plus 1. Because I'm just trying to make this thing, like if, if I call this fn, this will almost look like uh, fn plus 1. Okay, uh, so, but, so now I added extra minus 1, so I should add plus 1. And they are literally same now, okay, almost same. So what can I do about this product, okay, so let's call this product, uh, Okay, let's just uh, first, instead of multiplying infinite number of terms, like at the series, let's just first add k terms. So I'm going to go from n is equal to 2 up to k, and we will see this relationship. So I have n cubed minus 1 is just this thing, n minus 1 times, and sorry, it should be n plus 1 squared minus n plus 1 
plus 1 over, so I have n plus 1, n squared minus n minus 1, plus 1. Okay, cool. Uh, so now what do I have? I can just uh, separate these terms. They're all finite and I can totally do that. Like at the series, I could just separate sums and here I can just separate uh, products. So I have from 2 to k n minus 1 over n plus 1, which is uh, almost same as the previous example like I showed here. Uh, and this one, well, this is e easy. Like we again have a kind of uh, similar relationship. So this is going from 2 to k. And let's write it n plus 1 squared minus n plus 1 plus 1 over n squared minus n plus 1. Well, actually here I can just um, take this 2 out from this part and just I can say there the rest is just going to be same. But uh, let's okay, let's not be in a hurry and let's do them separately. So I'm going to say this is A and this is B. And so A is going to look like, well, A is simple. So if I put 2, it's going to be 1 over 3. If I put 3, it's going to be 2 over 4, 3 over 5. So I, they started cancelling out. Next is just going to be 4 over 6. So these two also cancels out. And if you look, anything I write will just cancel with 5. So I will actually have just the first two terms at the denominator and last two at the denominator. So if I put k minus 1, it's, it's going to be k. And this one is going to be, well, it's officially not k. Let's also make it proper, k minus 2. And if I put k, it's going to be k minus 1 over k plus 1. So these two will also cancel. And this thing is going to be equal to, so I'm saying equal because I have only finite limited terms, 2 over k, k plus 1. Okay, cool. So this is the first part, which was a bit easier. And for the second part, like I said, so here I can either just directly write it or just separate the first term. Let's directly write it. It's nothing hard. I'm not even going to calculate them. Uh, so if I put n is equal to 2, it's going to be 3 squared minus 3 plus 1 over 2 squared minus 2 plus 1. And now if I just n is equal to 3, it's going to be 4 squared minus 4 plus 1. Over, uh, so I'm putting 3, 3 squared minus 3 plus 1. Yeah, like we guessed, they just had, there's just one difference. So the next term is just going to cancel. So everything will cancel except for this first de denominator. Then we will also have the last denominator. So which is going to be k plus 1 squared minus k plus 1 plus 1. And this thing will also cancel, which is k squared minus k plus 1. So therefore I can just say, so now I can uh, just again just do the, this thing, like I can just simplify it. It's, it was k squared plus 2k, k squared plus k plus, uh, sorry, let's write it, it was k squared plus 2k minus k, so it's going to be k, and this is 1 minus 1, 1, so it says k squared plus k plus 1, over, and here I have uh, 4 minus 2 plus 1, which is going to be 3. Okay, cool. Uh, so I have a and b's, let's rewrite them. My finite's multiplication let's call it sk well or yeah let's show it like pk like product uh, so i multiplied k terms and i said this is pk uh, so pk which is answer of like multiplying first k terms it's actually k minus one terms anyways 
is equal to a times b, which we found that it's a is just 2 times k, k plus 1, and b is just this thing, k squared plus k plus 1 over 3. So this is literally same logic with series. If I now take this limit as k goes to infinity, limit k goes to infinity of pk, this is going to give me the answer, which is equal to this product uh, as n goes from 1 to, sorry, it starts from 2, 2 to infinity. So this is my question, n cubed minus 1 over n cubed plus 1 is going to be equal to just if I take this, this limit, I have k squared and k squared here so they're just they have just leading coefficients one and i have two over three so this is going to be my answer